My sister asked me to install a new hard drive into her computer, so I'm taking the opportunity to make a video of it. It's a compact Passario SR202X. It's a XP machine. As you can see, I removed all the cables. To add a hard drive, you're going to need to long nose pliers, Phillips, and a flathead screwdriver. The hard drive itself, in this case, it's a Western Digital, one terabyte, and a data cable, the SATA data cable. And for her computer, she's going to need a power adapter for the hard drive. First step is to remove the side panel. and to locate exactly where to put the hard drive. In this case it's going to be the two slots above the old one. It looks like the slot right above is taken up by the front panel. Quick note, before you purchase a hard drive, make sure you have an extra power cable and an extra data port on the motherboard. Now we're going to plug the data cable into the motherboard. And I'm going to also plug in the uh, adapter, power cable adapter. Now the hard drive on this uh, computer needs to come in through the front panel, so I need to remove that. It just has a few tabs. And this metal uh, plate, you need to bend it out of the way. You can use uh, screwdrivers and pliers to help you bend it out and break it off. This case comes with the hardware in necessary for installing another drive, so I'm going to remove the four screws. Then I'm going to install the screws to the hard drive. Take note where I'm placing the screws. In this computer, I can just slide in the uh, hard drive once I've installed the screws, and it'll just snap right in place. Now I can install the cables to the hard drive. First, I'm going to plug in the power cable. then the data cable. There, now everything's installed. Now you just gotta make sure you got the cables so they're not hitting anything important and that there's plenty of airflow. And then reinstall the case. And then reinstall all the cables that you pulled out, the power cables, the keyboard, and so forth. And then you'll be starting up the computer. You will notice that uh, if you go to your com my computer, you won't see the new hard drive. This is because it hasn't been formatted yet. Just to make sure that it uh, has been uh, installed and that the operating that the 
computer does see it, you can go to your device manager and look at the uh, installed hard drives. As you can see, it sees it, but uh, it's still not installed yet. To format it, we're going to need to go to the control panel and click on Administrative Tools, and then Computer Management, and then Disk Management. Here you can see the uh, new installed drive. We're going to have to uh, initiate it before we can format it. Go to uh, Action, All Tasks, and then Initiate Disk. Click OK. Now we can right click on the uh, disk and uh, make a new partition. You can uh, pretty much go with all the default settings. We're going to need the primary partition keep the size as large as possible. We only make one partition. Double check uh, if all the settings are correct. And start formatting. There, all done. It's ready to use now. Thank you for watching. Be sure to check out my other videos at my YouTube channel, Fox Know How.